Hey guys, I'm Kelly from Chestnut Junction, and you can find us at um, our Etsy shop, www.etsy.com slash shop slash Chestnut Junction. Um, we are live right now. Uh, if you see that little red button up in the corner, that uh, means you're live. You can chat with us, you can chat with other people. If you don't see that live button, that means you are watching the replay and you can comment replay down in the comments. Um, we will be posting this video to YouTube whenever we're done. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and go ahead and um, join our, our uh, channel there. Uh, I haven't done a live for a while, so I'm feeling a little rusty. Um, welcome to people that are joining us. I'm not going to be doing any sewing today. Uh, I've had several people uh message me about like the the new thing to do now is the dollar store crafts and i've had several people just message me and like hey can you show us how to make some of the dollar store uh wood crafts or or the things that they see on youtube or on instagram can you make them look primitive so hubby and i went to the dollar store and i looked through stuff and some of that stuff i'm like i can never make that look primitive but i did find an acorn so that's what i'm going to be uh, doing today is this acorn and it is from the dollar tree and uh, i don't know if it's just our dollar tree or if it's all over the country now but things at the Dollar Tree aren't just a dollar anymore. Um, hi, Shirley. Hi, Linda. Oh, my husband is manning the chat if you're here live with us. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off. Thank you so much. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, things at the Dollar Tree aren't a dollar anymore. Um, they uh, they raised it up. It's Things are now $1.25. But... We got this wood acorn. I don't know if it's like balsa wood, but um, we're going to go ahead because it's got some rough edges. We're going to go ahead and, uh, hi Pam, we're going to go ahead and sand off some of these rough edges. And as many of you know, I've went through cancer this year and I appreciate everybody uh, being supportive and reaching out to me and sending me cards and messages and emails and prayers. Um, I, I appreciate all of you during that, that rough time. Give this a little sand here. I mean, this, these are actually pretty sturdy, but they just have some rough edges. But if you're just joining us, we are working on a, a uh, dollar store acorn here. And I did not, I did not do a... Um, a sample so we're, we're doing this for the first time um, I'm gonna go ahead and if you guys have any questions or anything like I said my uh, husband is on the chat but I'm gonna go ahead and bend you down here so we can see I'm gonna be careful too, not to not um, to not to pop the phone out of there so I think what I'm going to do is start with some cinnamon brown uh, and go ahead and give this a light coat, like almost like a stained coat all over the whole thing. I'm just going to put some paint in here. Did 
then I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Just to make it look like it's a, a stain. Looks like I might need a little bit more paint and water. And this is just regular acrylic paint. But I didn't feel like busting the uh, actual wood stain out. I thought, well, we'll water down some paint and see how that works to make it look like a stain. I've got a little one inch cheapy brush here. I think that's looking pretty good. And I'm gonna give this just a little bit of a sand again, just to make sure that that opens up like the wood so the stain can get in there. And hubby, you let me know if I'm staying inside. We've got kittens uh, that are goofing off over here on the side. If you've been watching us for a while, you know we had two cats. We had Otis, which is our gray, um, our gray tabby, and we had had Luther, which was our tuxedo. But we lost Uther, Luther back in May, um, and then poor Otis, he just he cried and he looked for his brother all the time. And uh, so we went and we got two, two tuxedo kittens. So their names are Axel and um, Flynn. And I think they're six months old now. So if they come flying through here, that's, that's who it is. So I've got, I, I've got my little uh, water, little bowl of watered down paint here that we're gonna use for stain. And I don't really like this, uh, dark spot on here so I'm gonna go ahead and use this side yep he's over here messing around so I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a coat over the whole thing make sure to get these edges It's actually going on really nice. I didn't know if watering down the paint was going to uh, make it look like stain or not, and I really do think it's looking like stain. have a lot of uh, wood cutouts at the at the dollar store but some of them I look at and I'm like I don't know what I would do with that but they're very cute but I just don't know how to make them look prim maybe I ought to challenge myself and get one and try it but this acorn looked easy to do. It looked my speed. Can you still see me in there? Who's this? This is Axel, if you can see him. Hello, buddy. What are you doing? Yeah. 
yeah, if you have an old cat that needs friends or a friend, I and, you, and you're going to get a kitten, I recommend getting two kittens because these two have so much energy and they wear the old man out. I feel so bad for Otis, though, because he misses his brother. They used to cuddle, like, all the time, and, yeah. They had a good life together, though. At least Luther made it till he was 12. Look, I think this is turning out really nice. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side, and I'm going to go ahead... Hi, buddy. I'm going to hit this with the hair dryer, you guys. So if you want to turn your volume down or... Uh, that's fine. So I'm, I'm going to hit this with my hair dryer and get it dry here. tiny tiny bit damp but I think it's dry enough for us to to move on because I don't want you guys to have to sit here and listen to the hair dryer all day I'm gonna move this up just a second because oh my god you have an old cat two kittens and a German Shepherd wow that is a full house I'd love to get a dog we're at our limit here though with three cats Okay, just hubby got up to wash a brush. And I'm like, I think I see comments there, so. Okay, I'm gonna bench back down here. Are we in focus? Okay, so we have stained both sides. Like I said, I didn't like that spot on the that, I'm going to wipe this off, too, just so if it's wet. And you don't have to use this white. We use this white because our surface is black, and uh, when we try to do a live, it does. it's not good to, to film on the black. That's why we put this white paper down. But it does protect your, uh, it does protect your table. Okay. Did you have that little bowl? Yeah. Thank you. So for the top, I have got, it's called Cafe Mocha. I don't know if they still sell, this is Deco Art Crafters Acrylic. I don't know if they still sell it or not because when, uh, there was a Pat Catans. Well, Pat Catans, I think in Crafts 2000, they're totally closed right. down. Um, but when they were closing, I think they were selling their remaining stock of this stuff for 10 cents a bottle. And we bought like a ton of it. So this is like, I think I've had this bottle of paint every bit of five, excuse me, five, seven years. It's still good though. Um, I mean, maybe they still make it. I don't know. So I'll put some paint here. 
in our bowl. And I think I might water it down a little bit too. It just makes it flow a little easier. Give it a mix. see how this goes and I'm gonna to try to just paint the top surface and not get any on the edges take my glasses well I'll tell you what I don't know if I'm reading glasses in here or not bingo okay Can y'all see me? There we go. Is anybody decorated for fall yet? We put our, um, our fall flags outside, but we don't have any like pumpkins or mums or anything yet. See how we do on this challenging part of getting this, uh, getting this acorn cap. Getting the old line straight. Not too bad. What do you think? Look good? I'm gonna give that a little hit with the hair dryer. So again, if you wanna turn your volume down, you can. Do you think it needs another, think it needs another coat on top? I don't know. What do you guys think? You think, you think it needs a second coat on top? Looks good, okay. All right, I'll set that off to the side. <laughs> So what should we do? Um, I got a lot of stuff sitting here to embellish with. 
Let me see. Do you see my little spouncer brush? I've got such a mess here. I see everything but my little spouncer brush. Did it fall off? There we go. Okay. I'll tell you what. We got a little bit. Well, now you know what I think. I'm going to experiment here. I got just a little bit of that left. This is what we use to do the top with. I've got some and it's me antique white. Cross your fingers here. Cross your fingers. So I mix some antique white with that little bit of uh, paint we had left over from painting the top of the um, painting the top of the acorn, and I've got a little round spouncer brush. So. Like I said, cross your fingers. Load some up in there. And I'm actually gonna. Can you guys still? Can you can you mm -hmm. see me doing this off to the side? Cause I don't want to. Um, I don't want to be drippy. I want this to be kind of dry. You can still see me. Okay. So see what this looks like. It's still kind of wet. We'll make it work, though, won't we? It's primitive. It's supposed to. It's supposed to look old and worn, right? Not perfect. Okay, put one here. Oh my! Come on. There, that looks good. Maybe we can touch this one up. All right? Okay. I don't really want, well, I guess we'll just do that. I say I don't want them to look too uniform, but it's kind of hard not to. I'm finding if you actually rotate this brush, this little spongy brush, while you do this, you get your uh, your dots more uniform. Oh, that one went on nice. Is there any questions we're missing? Nope. Okay. Okay. And if you're catching us uh, on the replay, make sure to comment replay down there in the comments so we know that you uh, stopped by and uh, hung out with us and watched the video. So 
I still keep looking up to make sure you guys can see me. This one. Yeah, put it over there. Okay, so we got some polka dots on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit these with the dryer. probably like sand this down if you wanted to a little bit I don't think I'm going to I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is so now I'm going to add a little embellishment up here for the top I'm going to wipe this off so I don't get the back dirty so I have got this is from, this is also from Dollar Tree. It's, it's some burlap ribbon. Is it wired? I don't know if it doesn't really, well, my, yeah, it's wired. Okay. Let's see. I don't know how wide to cut. Oh, so I'm gonna put this up here. I'm gonna cut this edge off. I don't like it. I don't know. So I cut a piece of this burlap ribbon. I think I'm going to cut another piece of it too and stick that to the side and go, go ahead and I got both pieces on top of each other and I'm going to go ahead and fold it over and give it a snip to get the, uh, what do you call it? Like ribbon ends. I'm not sure what that's called. Well, I'm calling ribbon ends. <laughs> Hubby goes, I'm not sure what they're called. I'm like, I'm calling them ribbon ends. <laughs> I mean, like, if you got a blue ribbon, that's what the bottom would look like, right? I'll try to get them even here. See, I'm, I'm going to try to get them even. It looks like about right there. Okay. So now we've got two pieces of this um, for our uh, ribbon. So I got some of that, and I know I had this is some offray ribbon. Is that how you say that? Offray. I haven't even opened this one up. Okay, 
I don't want to have to do the smack down with this thing on oh, live here with you. <laughs> okay, screw that. <laughs> and we're cutting it off. All right. So. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and make them the same length, I think. You still see me? Okay, and let's go ahead and give these the little ribbon ends too. Not perfect, but hey, it'll work, right? Maybe we'll try it this way this time, hey? Oh, come on, you little bugger. Pros and cons. The other way was easier. This one, this way looks better. But it had all those little uh, threads hanging out. Okay, so we'll lay these on here too. And then I've got some raffia. So, pull out some of this. And lay that on there. Give us another piece. I think that's enough right here. Okay. So next, I'm going to grab some green floral wire. Normally, I use, like, rusty wire for everything, but I think the rusty wire would be too thick. So... I'm going to cut off a piece of this. Mind you guys, I don't do ribbons. So this is like kind of a first time thing for me. So wish me luck. I'm just kind of bunching it up here so I can get my wire around it. But I want it to look nice too. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to pull this as tight as I can. And give it some twists. Oh goodness, the kitty's back. Hello, this one's Flynn. Hello, Flynn. Is he blocking my shot? Mm -hmm. well, turn around and show everybody how pretty you is. Looky, looky up here. Say, looky, oh, looky how pretty I am. Ooh, he's just a baby. Here's him ears. He's just a baby. Yes. These two, they're, so, they're such lovey kittens. Okay, back to our bow here. I wrapped the green floral wire around to the back and I twisted it um, several times. And you guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but 
I'm gonna hit this. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this with the hammer a couple times because I want it flat. Um, I don't. I don't want the ribbon all thick. Uh, that it looks like it's popping off of my acorn. So that's probably like not a professional <laughs> thing to do. But hey, um, this is Chestnut Junction crafting here. You do it your way, right? Now I'm trying to cut these, uh, cut these ends off. Boy, for this being thin wire, that was not easy. Cut the other end off. Unless my uh, cutter here is getting dull. Hello, you back? He's back here. Flynn is back on the side here. Okay. I'm going to get my big old hammer out. <laughs> I'm going to flatten that out again. All right. So, now we can go and adjust our just our ribbon here I don't know maybe, maybe we will trim up some of this raffia so it matches the length of the ribbon pieces just if you guys are gonna do this yourself it's really easy and it in inexpensive really um, just fiddle around with this bow till you like it okay I have my glue gun off to the side here which I'm gonna grab Throw this paint in here. So I've got my glue gun. And this is the first time I've ever used this glue gun. Um, so. Oh no. I was going to put it up here. or put it here where do you guys like it like it down here what are they saying honey I can't see uh, so down here I haven't said yet or up here uh -huh. okay. oh get away from the glue gun kitty you burn your little face Okay, what I can't read now. What it what I like it down. We got we got several we have several down. We got two tops now. Three tops. I would I would have put it up to and not thought to put it down. Hmm. What what's the consensus though? Okay, we got top one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, majority's top. Majority's Doesn't top. Hide the dots. Okay, we'll put her on the top. Sorry for the down, folks. Okay, yes. Yeah. Sorry for the down, folks. You got outvoted. <laughs> All right, man. My my cord is my cord is short, so I'm gonna put some hot glue on here. Hurry up and rush over here and try to get this down. Oh, got, we got to hold this down. I don't use hot glue very often. I 
Okay, so we're going to hold this here for a minute or two. This has actually been fun. Does anybody else do dollar store? Um, do the dollar store crafts? There was a lot. Um, there was a lot of wood cutouts there at the dollar store. This, they actually had... Um, they had the acorns as uh, acorns. little mini ornaments. I mean, that would really be cute, like on a fall tree. Dollar store crafts, but ours are so lacking for all the cool things. I see everyone else buying the craft. Debbie, I'm t I I get that. Um, we live in Columbus, and you think that we would have these huge dollar stores, and they don't. Um, but we went yesterday. We went down to Lancaster, Ohio, which is like probably like. I don't know, like 20 minutes away from us. Um, and they had everything. They had stuff I hadn't seen up here in Columbus. So that was like, um, but I think you can order, it seems dry. I think you can order um, online, can't you? The hair dryer on my face. <laughs> I can do it for you. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, but Dollar Tree, I think you can order online. Um, this is a button. I'm going to go ahead and, and cover up this. and um, So I wouldn't have a big knot on the back. Do you see what I did? I laced it with... Um, brown thread and then I glued down the um, I glued down the ends so it's all dry now so I'm gonna get and my like I said my my glue gun is plugged in over here but the cord is very short so I'm struggling here a little bit get, get some hot glue on my button I like this glue gun. Hubby got it for me for Christmas, what, a year or two ago? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I've never used it, but it's awesome because it doesn't leak. My other one leaked. It just would pour. I hope I didn't get too much hot glue on here. The other one would just leak out everywhere. It's still in focus here, right? So I put that button there. Okay, we gotta hold it. Debbie Fisher says she's glad you laced your buttons. She's not a fan of naked buttons. I am not a fan of naked buttons either. And I'm sorry if people do that. I don't mean to offend you. And I don't like seeing hot glue coming up between the holes either. Oh, awesome, Karen. That was a fun pattern to make. Still holding my button. I, I think we've got it on there. Okay. What? Is it bad? No, it looks good. Okay. So, we've got this, but I'm, we need to put a, uh, we need to put a hanger on it. So, my rusty wire. All right. 
right. Do you think rusty wire, or oopsie, do you think rusty wire, or do you think jute? Like the rusty wire make it look too harsh? Or, I don't know. I think, well, I don't, I don't know. I am going to use rusty wire. Cut myself a piece off here. Hey, that's not yours. Now the kitty's trying to get rest of the wire. Can't eat it, you'll get tetanus. Okay. I'm just gonna get a, a bend in here. I think I'm gonna come in from the back. Just giving this a bend. So we'll have like a slim hanger and I can get these uh, ends. See how I'm coming through the back here. So, I brought that, brought that from the back. So I'm just going to go, hopefully you guys can still see me. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Take my pliers and bend over the ends so we don't have any pointy pokies. That doesn't feel good when you get poked with the sharp wire. Hey, what are you doing? Now I'm going to take my stuffing tool here. I'm going to wrap, wrap the ends around there. Did you guys see that? Wrap the ends to get a curl on my wire. So now we have our wire hanger. I think it turned out pretty darn good. I actually don't have any, uh, a tag would be good. I actually don't have any, uh, any tags right here. A tag would be good. A tag would be good. Do we have any stain? Actually, up there, we will add that tag. I think I have, can you look up there? I think in the first slot I have, or I think, I think I have an acorn. new models on download because we can't buy you can't buy e-patterns in France 
Jesus. I didn't know that. I thought that, um, I thought that the, um, Etsy downloads were, uh, worldwide. I'll have to look into that. Can you hand them to me? This is crafting on the fly, you guys. That's how it is looking. No, but this is it here. Which one? Mm hmm. I don't know if it's, um, it looks like it's too big to go on here, though. I think that would overpower this, though. I don't know. We're going to try this. Got the ink up there. Oh, you can't buy the finished, the, are you talking... See, when you say model, are you talking about the actual finished doll? Because I have, because uh, we're a business and whatnot. So my my uh, tax person does not like uh, messing with the, oh, down, you can do the downloads, okay. Um, my tax person is, it's, it costs us more to have to, um, do international stuff. And I, I hate to tell you that I do. Well, it's, it's a little bit off the side, but that's fine. No biggie. Okay. So. Where shall we put the tag? I don't know if I can get the tag under this, uh. will work, right? I hope. Okay. Oh, ooh, there it is with a tag. Okay, I'm I'm I like this. This was fun. I normally only sew things. Uh, but this 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 actually turned out cute, I think. For a dollar store craft, this turned out cute. Okay, I'm gonna bend you guys back up here. Ooh, hello. These are my pink reading glasses. Let me put on my other glasses. Okay, how many of you guys are left on here? 28? Is anybody interested in a giveaway on this? If I give this away, um, you do have to pay shipping on it. Um, is anybody, if anybody's interested, uh, we'll do a uh, we'll do a drawing. Mm -hmm. How do you want to do this? Um, and we'll we'll give this away. And like I, I just ask that you pay shipping on it. So if um, if you are interested in this, uh, and mind you, whenever we do the count, uh, and this is going to be USA shipping again, and I'm so sorry. Um, when we do the count on this, 
uh, it may come up in a different order on your end than it does on our end, so please don't feel like you um, you got shorted or anything. Uh, but there's 26 of you here, so if anybody is interested in getting this as, as a giveaway um, and paying for USA shipping, go ahead and comment uh, giveaway down in the comments and what number we have 27 people online what number you want to do nine nine uh no not giveaway nine no the word is giveaway yeah okay so we're going to take the ninth person um chris says the ninth person on for giveaway we'll give this away you just have to pay the shipping on it and comment giveaway. Five, six, seven, eight. Next one. Tamara Fisher Okay, he he said uh, the ninth. Call, I just saw. I see you, Miss Kimmy. I didn't know you were here. How does uh? Are the Bills playing today? They played Thursday and they won. Oh, they played Thursday and they won. Okay. Who did you say? Tamara Fisher Angus. Okay, so Tamara Fisher Angus, you are the lucky winner of this. Um, if you want to go ahead and private message us, or we will private message you after the live. Uh <laughs> Karenet. Um <laughs> Miss Kimmy go Bills. <laughs> uh yeah, so Tamara was our winner on this. And um, like I said, if you go ahead and message private message us or we'll private message you after the live. Um and you uh will be getting this in the mail. And oh my goodness, hubby just hit the <laughs> camera. So, uh, does anybody have any questions before we wrap things up? And I, I have to do this. Was it Karenette that wanted me to do this? This is for you, Karenette. <laughs> she likes it when I blow my hair. Okay. Um... Oh, you are most welcome, Tamara. Um, as always, we appreciate everybody who joins us. Um, if you haven't liked our page or joined us, uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead. Now my hair is a mess. Uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, do that. Uh, it was so good seeing all of you guys today. Um, this year's, this year's just been rough. Um, uh, going through the cancer and just trying to recover from that. And uh, I had my cancer surgery back in March and this is September and I'm, I'm still, uh, not feeling 100%. I suffered a lot of nerve damage, uh, from the surgery because they actually went in through my back on my left side here and they removed half my left lung, but um, I took a lot of nerve damage like from my back and coming all the way around to the front. And it's taken me, it's taken me uh, quite a few months to recover, but we're getting there. Praise the good Lord. Um, how did I not know you had a YouTube? Well, Miss Becky, I don't know. Where have you been? Um, basically, though, our YouTube channel is just all our videos here, and we just post them to YouTube. Um, oh, thank you, Marianne. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Uh, so, if you guys, like I said, this this was something that somebody emailed me and said, hey, can you do that? Um, thank you so much, Miss Karen. 
um, you know, maybe I will go to the dollar store and see if I see anything else that um, I can try. Oh, I know I, I, I know I was in your, your prayers, Miss Kimmy. Um, you're such a sweet lady. Thank you, Linda. Um, so guys, thank you for joining us today. Um, I missed you. I'm so glad that you joined us and, um, you guys have a blessed day. I love you all and, um, we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye.